on this episode, you can have it. Ah, so we're gonna be, well, I'm gonna be cupping the, the Illy brand for the first time uh, your way. And then I think we'll move over to my level of expertise and use this bad boy to give uh, the cupping a, uh, cupping a go. Can't wait. Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today we've got Shannon back once again. Uh, he's going to be tasting a bit of my coffee or his coffee but my way of tasting it uh, we're going to be cupping and tasting the illy coffee today and then afterwards he's going to show me how he makes his espresso and then we're going to taste that as well so welcome back again thank you looking um looking to forward to sa making some coffee are you ready to taste this i am what characteristics can you tell me about illy's uh, espresso well it's it's a balanced uh, espresso bean so when you when you initially tasted it should be almost a sweet taste okay. um, it's balanced in the terms that you don't get such a sour and a bitterness that comes through it um, it's it's well known for its hints of chocolate uh, floral definitely in there it's fruitiness if I can give an example you should definitely uh, get the taste of caramel some people even say they can get the, t the, the hint of toast I think that's to do with a little bit of the, the India bean coming along there. Um, but it is such a well-balanced uh, coffee and one that you can drink over and over again. But let's, let's, well the proof is really in the pudding. So Just remind me again how many different types of coffee is in this? So there's, it's a single blend, uh, nine different origins. The, the countries of origin, as I said in the previous episode, are done by a liqueur. Obviously, different yields from different farms. If you, you tell me, you need to kill. <laughs> exactly. But majority of it is your, your undertone for the espresso bean is your Brazil. We've got Guatemala, Costa Rican, Ethiopian. Um, a, lot of, a lot of your Central and your Southern American countries, your African countries. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's all dependent on your climate uh, as well as the yield that was produced at that farm at that year. Okay. Um, well, I'm looking forward to tasting it. The smell that I'm getting, I do get a bit of a fruitiness, almost like a sweet uh, kind of smell that comes through. Um, how dark is it roasted? So, it's a medium roast. Uh, Eli also does a squirrel roast, but that's a little bit strong for the South African palate. So, we, we, we in, in the traditional restaurants, you'll find our, uh, the red tin, which is our regular roast. It's, it's just over a seven minute uh, medium roast. So it's, it's very palatable. And I think the South Africans are, are more in tuned for, for such a coffee. It's not too harsh and it's very nice in a cappuccino or even in your espresso. So some, some coffees are, are very acidic out of an espresso and very nice out of, a, out of the, the cappuccino because of the milk. While where Eli I think is once again is that, that balance yeah. lets it be a, a, an enjoyable drink, just not from the espresso point of view but throughout your, your coffee selections. Awesome, I think... Um, I did see that you always eat a bean. Have you eaten an Illy bean yet? I have not. You haven't? Uh -huh. Let's see. As you can see, there's the, the Illy bean, it's, it's not as um, glossy as, as some of the other beans that you might have been eating. Uh, and, and all of the beans look pretty much identical. That's through the selection process that Illy goes through. They, it's it's an ext a very very uh, I, I could say a scientific process they make sure every single tin is the exact same as the tin before it and obviously the coffee beans that go in it have to be the exact same to produce the same coffee weird question um, I don't know maybe it's just something that happened but all the ba all the beans you gave me mm. now uh, they are quite small um, does Ili have a specific uh, size for their beans that they use? They, they, that is a very good point. What they do do, um, they try to keep the bean exactly the same. They don't, they, they can't be an inconsistency, especially in the roasting and the size. So what Eli does is it goes through a quality check, um, a cut, uh, not every single bean obviously, but majority of, uh, of a section will go through a quality check. It will get shot down into, into a laser. This laser identifies the bean, it measures its size and its grammage. And it's obviously based on grammage and if it has an indiscrepancy in that bean an air uh, like an air bullet is shot at it 
and that bean that doesn't fit the requirement is taken out. So any rotten beans or beans that have got maybe a harder density and it has, wasn't able to roast properly is, is given out so it doesn't ruin, ruin that coffee. Awesome. I think that already for me just tells me that the, the best beans are basically hand-picked um, for the right size. And that exactly. is your better quality, your better quality bean is the smaller one. Um, it's just much better. But let's get to the tasting. Um, so you'll Ooh, see at the excited. top here, uh, we've got our 5.5 grams of coffee in here uh, with 100 mils of hot water, not boiling. Um, yeah, I don't want to burn my tongue. crust <laughs> at the top. Um, I don't know if you've, have you done taste, coffee tasting before? I, I, I haven't. I watched your last episode. Okay. You definitely should watch it if you <laughs> haven't watched it. I saw you, you, you took the first layer of crust off and you dipped it in there and then you gave it a swig. Yeah, so there's a, for you oh, a you. jug to go put that in. So I think let's, let's just get... I'm just going to follow you. <laughs> just that smell um, to get... Mm. Also that rich body that's coming through. I'm, I'm getting like a caramel... Definitely, you know, I, I can get that fruitiness the caramel and definitely some hint of toast it's sweet it is sweet know, sweet and I, I think that's that's why the South African market likes it because of the the, the sweet and it's, it's the acidity isn't so sharp when when you take it into 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 your mouth at the beginning so yeah definitely a, a more one of the more sweeter beans see there's not a lot lot of crust that did form um, it's a it's a bit finer using that yeah, a machine, the grinder, but it's fine, we can still have a good taste. And then you just slurp away. Perfect. The fun part, the, <laughs> the funny part. So I almost get like a, it's a very full mouthfeel, mm. creaminess to it. Um, definitely like a creamy. I think that's a caramel coming through um, with the full body, gives it that, that sweet, that sweet taste that wants you to have that next sip, almost. Definitely. Um, I think I'm going to tell you this now when I smelt it, uh, when I got the nose for it, I, th I thought that it's going to be a bit acidic. Mm. Um, I don't know why, I just had that smell and it's not actually mm. uh, surprisingly not acidic at all. Fr um, fruitier beans, if, I, if, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, fruitier beans do have a higher acidity rate to them and I think a lot of people do associate Illy with with quite a strong floral smell to it yeah. so they expect it to be to be acidic but once they've tasted it it really and that's why it does say the espresso balanced bean so ah off the cup off the cup you're going to be enjoying it you know what i mean <laughs> no i love the sweet sweetness of it uh, i must say absolutely enjoyed that cupping um, but you know what? I think it's time that we get into the real stuff. Let me shake? make you a real, a real Illy espresso on a, one of our machines that I'm quite familiar with, the La Scala. Is this uh, machine coming from you guys? We do import La Scala. This is one of the machines that, that I'm most familiar with. Um, this is obviously you guys all know through your previous episode. I think it was episode one or two where you went over the machine. Yep, pushing out nine bars of pressure to make your coffee. I'm using a double handle at the moment. The double handle obviously letting in 14 grams of, of coffee. Luckily I've got a diamond metric press here that I don't have to do the tampering by hand. Especially when you're making two espressos, it's important that you get a level tamper. Now here I am training, yeah, I think a lot training of, somebody. A lot of guys, you you uh, go to your dominant side, and it and it does it's not a balanced press. Obviously, um, and then when if you can imagine your coffee, if it's if it's lying like this, one side is going to get more water, get more pressure, and then one espresso is going to be better than the second, uh, the second or the right side or the left side. As long place. as I get the better one, <laughs> both of them are going to be great. So also another important thing about making any espresso, whether it's Illy, local roast, um, it's important to use warm cups. Uh, if, if your cup is cold, no matter how good the bean is, you're going to get an instantaneous acidic taste. 
So it's important up, up here on top here is a boiler. It releases some heat and at the bottom here you, you can just heat your cup up with some hot water but fortunately our cups our cups are warm. So let's make them. Is this how you drink your coffee at home? Espresso? I, I only drink espresso and Americano um, and the occasional cappuccino. No from, sugar. No sugar. Uh, one of the funny things is in Italy actually uh, they don't allow you to drink cappuccinos after the time of 11 o'clock. It's considered a almost a breakfast dessert okay. um, type of a drink. So I ran you almost a ristretto, which is a shorter espresso. I find it's the, the, it's the strongest obviously because it's a short one and it gives you a bit of a bolder taste to it. So this I love is the, way the amount of crema um, that you're getting at the top here. It's quite a... A very and nice dark crema ones. as well. Uh, we've got a little bit of the tiger stripes going on at the moment. Um, if anybody does want to know what the crema tastes like, it's got almost a very oily taste to it. Uh, it doesn't pack in pretty much of the aroma, but it it is it is an integral part of, of the coffee. If your coffee has come out with no crema, I think it's giving it that creaminess. Mm, uh, for sure, just adds that to that. Thank you. Pleasure. Let's for my espresso. Let's see if it if it compares to the cupping that we just did. Once again, I'm getting that caramel hint to mind, it. Mind, mind blown. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to say it was a barista. Um, espresso. I love my espressos, um, but it, sometimes it's just too much. Yeah. Whereas this is creamy. Uh, it's sweet. I can't believe how sweet mm. the sweetness that I'm getting out of it. And absolutely just loving it. That floral note heating yeah. at the back. 100%. Not bitter at all. Uh, it's not, uh, I don't feel I'm leaking out an ashtray. No. Um, lovely espresso. Uh, beautifully done. I don't know if it's the machine or the barista. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with all three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with all three. Definitely. But yeah, no, I, I can honestly say that that Illy is one of the, the coffees, I, dr I don't just drink Illy, all of these guys are going to sound slightly biased, but I definitely think Illy is one of, the, one of the very few coffees that you can enjoy espresso after espresso, and, and you don't feel that you've got a bitterness or an acidic taste to it. Um, Not at all. And there's different, there's, there's different characteristics that people like, some people might not like the, the the balance or the fruitiness of of the illy and I'd rather like a stronger coffee that's personal preference that's what it's all about but you have to try yeah. and try and try every type of coffee until you find the one that definitely that you find is, is and that is why we are doing this channel um, to tell everybody about uh, what they can expect when drinking the illy um, very balanced there's nothing really standing out it's not bitter it's not acidic it's not overpowering it's just perfect um, really enjoyed the Ely more than I would have thought um, but yeah that is why we're doing the channel and I hope you can be on this journey right. with us showing everybody out there what coffees you get uh, just showing you exactly what what you can expect when you go to the coffees and where you can get the specific coffees so don't forget to subscribe subscribe tell everybody about it we want to educate everyone and everyone about it and connect everybody over coffee uh, so subscribe, like our page, drop us a comment. We want those comments coming in. If there's a specific brand that you would like us to taste, uh, just ask us or, and we'll see if we can maybe make, uh, make you that coffee or that if we can get to tasting that. So go like our Facebook page as well, uh, Cup of Cafe and Cup of Channel. Till next time, I hope I'm invited back. Definitely. Uh, my Twitter handle is over here, as you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Shannon.Ross.Dalton. Um, so yeah, I'm on along our way at the at the Illy page. We'll get that underway, um, and hopefully we can do a lot more together. Maybe try some some going out on the street and and seeing what what people actually know about just various coffees and what they prefer and what they dislike about the coffees. That'll be awesome.